Welcome back fish lovers, I'm Yard from New York Aquarium and today we will do a review on the CCM Aquario Water Changer assembly, how it works and all you need to know. Be part of the family by clicking the join button and you will unlock some awesome perks such as a VIP badge next to your name, members only, emoji, VIP replies, video, shout outs, members only video, early access to video, lot of perks only for $2.99 and you can cancel anytime. And this video starts now. Let's start with the assembly. But first, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, hit all to get notification every time we upload a new video, and please, don't forget to hit like. Now, once you open the box, you will find all these attachments and also a hose. All these attachments are for different types of sinks and water holes, and also have some tape to help with the leaks also this is the, the tube i'm going to show you guys how we assemble all these parts so let's get, let me get all of them out here you see guys all the attachment and this part have a little lever so you can turn it on and off so i think this is a pretty cool um perk that this one have because the previous one that i bought it doesn't have it on both sides only in one so First, here's the part of the hose. We're going to use this to screw it in this part right here. So I'm going to put it through like this. Make sure it's facing up where you're going to screw it. Now, once you have it on both sides, you can use it on both sides. It will look just like this. How you guys see here, it will be some um, gap where the other part will screw on. So now let's move on to how it will look. So you first gonna push the thing with the lever, I don't know how to call it. And once you have it all the way in, make sure it's all the way in until you cannot um, push more further. Now the next step is to screw this attachment, the one we put first, all the way to the right to screw it, make sure it's really tight. Let me show you how it's supposed to look. Just like this, you could see through the screw, the part, the part that we attach. Now we're gonna go to the other side and do the same process. So remember, first you're gonna put the screw, this part right here, and then you gonna put this all the way up. Here, this part inside is for this orange part that is for hold the fish to not go into the um, vacuum. And here, once again, this is how it's supposed to look before you screw. And to the right, you're gonna screw this green attachment all the way until it's real tight. And this is how it looks both correctly attached and screw. So remember, make sure they are very tight because you might have some leaks and you don't do this process. Now, this part right here, the one I was talking about, it goes in this part. This will help to do not suck the fish and if you see all those four little hooks, that's where it's supposed to go. And it looks just like this. Next, we're gonna put the vacuum, this tube right here. This is the actual vacuum. So we're just gonna put it through. It needs to look just like this. Just push it all the way in. Now, let's talk about the attachment. You have some attachment for water garden holes and you have also for sinks. All you have to do is just pull this down and that's how we'll attach. Remember on the part on the hose, there's where you attach just like this. Just take a look, pull down and just snap it. You just snap it and it will go in. It will look just like this when it's all the way inside. And the same way to get it out, just pull down and push. But let me show you outside how it looks like. So let me show you how I do it. First, I attach this part to the water hose or to the sink if you want to see it click here i show how so how to do it in a sink in another video and this is how it's supposed to look like like i said earlier it have a part we say on and off when you have it on this is how it's supposed to look like like you see the water from the hose just coming out this also helps for the suction remember helps with the suction here's my fish this is how I do when I do any water change. I keep the decorations. I just stack them to the side so they feel 
more safe in there and less stress. First, we're gonna make sure that this is on. So remember, pointing out up is on and to the side is off. Right now it's off and now it's on. So how I do it, once it's on, I put some, I put it up so it can get some water and it will start suctioning right away. You can see how the line gets some water or the hose and this is how it looks outside. Now inside, you can see how it's doing the suction. So far, I really like it because I have a sand as a substrate and it helps me a lot. You see all this fish poop and all this dirtiness. Also, I have a turtle, so that's why it's so dirty. But so far, it's working very well. You can see how the level is getting lower in the water and how clean is the sand right now. Here, I finished with the vacuum. Now it's time to fill it up back. I already re uh, decorate everything you will see some cloudiness in the water that's fine you'll see here some fish so now it's time to fill this back up make sure first you turn off this right here so now you will see the water going through the hose all the way inside and this is how it looks like when you are filling up the tank I like this product it's really good it helped me a lot it didn't suck uh, barely so much sand and here you guys see I always like to add when I'm halfway the anti-chlorine to keep my fish safe don't worry guys you can add it at the end as well as long as you add some your fish will be fine if you ask me I'll give this product 5 out of 5 because it really makes your life easier on water chains and clean up so here I'm gonna add now my turtle juju it's already filled up the tank already Epsom anti-chlorine and everything you need to have and this is how it looks like when I'm complete I hope you guys enjoy this video and also was helpful. Thank you for watching So you don't miss any video Please go ahead and hit the subscribe button ring the bell hit all to get a notification every time we upload a new video and please don't forget to like Thank you very much to be here. I'm super grateful. We keep growing. I'm so excited we are back with more videos, so see you in the next one.